All right, guys, I'm um, doing a 500ml Monday because it's a Monday. And uh, I might do these every now and then, not every week, maybe every couple of weeks or every few weeks, um, just to, you know, honour um, our much missed friend Strat. Um, who of course unfortunately passed not too recently. Now I kind of dedicated my 100th beer review to Strat, even though I'd recorded that and uploaded it and edited it um, a fair bit before um, I found out the news about Strat. But I thought, why not do a proper, you know, dedicated video to, you know, one of the nicest people I've come across in this already fantastic community. So Strat wherever you are I drink to you and for the first 500ml Monday we're going over to the Paulana brewery here in Germany and we're looking at the Munchia Hell light clocking in at 3.2 percent now this of course is a lighter ABV version than their regular Hell it's one of my all-time favorite beers um, I absolutely love that stuff and it's a, it's one of those beers that it's it's a perfect example for all those like lager um, Hellas sort of naysayers um, who just like are strictly into craft that sort of thing everybody's into whatever it does not matter if you like what you like you like it it doesn't matter if it's macro micro homebrew um, British German American it doesn't matter as long as you enjoy it you enjoy it and that's the main thing but yeah the regular Hellas is one of my favorite beers and I will actually finally get around to recording the video of it because every time I go to record it I just end up drinking the beer because I absolutely love it. But yeah, this is their light version, which, um, yeah, um, I'm not too sure what is, I don't know really, where am I going with this? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a much lighter version, obviously, but it doesn't lack on flavour. And uh, yeah, already tried to record this video, so... That's why, you know, I haven't poured it on camera. But yeah, beer in a glass, and that is a very, very pale yellow colour. Uh, got nice clarity to it. Um, maybe some slight distortion from the glass, but I would say there's maybe a little bit of haze there. Uh, but yeah, nice amount of carbonation. When I first poured it, it was streaming up the glass. And beer poured with a white fluffy head. So it's what you think of when you hear of a lighter Heller's beer in terms of appearance. So on the aroma, I'm getting like a honey, lemon sort of vibe. That malt is really, you know, present as well. It's got a nice, almost savoury malt characteristic. You can pick up the hops in there, uh, not too much. It's not like a hoppy beer by any stretch, but they're there. There's a slight metallic, almost baked bean sort of aroma that you do find with some lagers. But it doesn't take anything away from the aroma. Um, it's not a strong smelling beer by any stretch. It is fairly light, fairly pedestrian, but it smells good when you get into that. And you could, you could tell that it's going to be one of those crisp, sort of clean sort of beers if you catch my drift. So anyway... Um, I've butchered up the um, the aroma, so let's see if I can make up for it on the taste. Cheers. The first thing that hits me um, with this beer, as opposed to the regular Hellas version, is just how zesty, citrusy, lemony and hoppy the beer is. Um, really nice hop bitterness there. And then you've got like a lemon cordial. It almost reminds me of an unsweetened um, bitter lemon, like uh, lemonade that you'd usually have with like a gin, that sort of thing. And it's got almost like a gin-like bitterness to it. There's really not too much going on with this beer, I won't lie. Um, the regular Hell's beer is a bit more flavoursome. Well, it's actually quite a bit more flavoursome. 
Uh, but you don't get the lemony hoppiness that you get in this beer. I think they've um, uh, used a bit more hoppage um, with this to give it a bit more of a you know alternate characteristic. I could be wrong about that though. But at three point two percent, you could you know do some so you could have an all night session on this. You could have a day session and not feel it as much as doing a day session on the Munich Hellers. And that, that's the thing about German beers, especially the Hellers beers, is you'll just keep drinking and drinking because they're so quaffable, so thirst quenching, just so easily sessionable, and then all of a sudden it just hits you because you drank so much. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much almost double the amount you drink on a session with this one. And... Uh, when you see like a lighter version of a beer, you think, oh, it's going to lack a lot more. But actually, for its downfalls and for the aspects you don't get in the regular Hellers, it's that citrusy, zesty hoppiness there that more than makes up for it. And it's almost like a completely different flavour characteristic. But it still maintains that Hellers style. So it's not just like drinking a very bitter... Um, unsweetened lemon cordial you are drinking a beer and on a really warm day this is going to go down an absolute treat it's got that crispness it's got that cleanness and uh, yeah really really nice now the regular Hellas beer from uh, Paolana is one of my all-time favorites easy 10 out of 10 um, it can beat out for me most craft beers um, this I still really like it, but it just doesn't have that that those same qualities uh, that the regular version has. But it's still an easy 9 out of 10 from me. So I'd say that's a pretty damn good score for the first beer on my 500ml Mondays. Um, I'm sure Strat would have absolutely loved this beer. Um, or he would have at least you know some really nice things to say about it if he ever tried it. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd shoot this video. Uh, and do a little bit of a dedication to one of the nicest people I've met in this community. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you'll join me for my next beer review, no matter which uh, style I do, that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, if you want to find out more, links down below, as well as links to my Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, subscribe for more beer reviews. And until the next time, stay safe and enjoy some really good beers. Cheers, guys, and see you later.